please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon are you ready for the next set of questions children shall we proceed okay so here is your next question What is the smallest three digit number that can be formed using the digits 3 0 and 6 okay and your options are a 0 36 option b 3 0 option c Three six zero, and option D six zero three. So, if you remember, children, I told you earlier that any number cannot start with zero because it is equivalent to having nothing, right? So, which is the smallest among the given after zero? It is three, right? So, three zero six, which is option B is the right answer. If you write zero three six, it will be considered as the smallest two digit number and not a three digit number. The question says the smallest three digit number. Okay, so that is why my correct answer should be three hundred and six. Clear? Shall we move to the next question? Okay, so here is your next question. What is the greatest? Three digit number that can be formed using the digits using the digits. Six, zero, and three. And your options are three zero six. Option B, three six zero. Option C, six zero three. And option D, six three zero. Okay. So now we need to find the greatest three-digit number. Okay, so the greatest number is six. Then comes three. Then comes zero. So it should be six thirty. Where can you find six thirty, children? Very good. It is option D. So option D is my right answer. Clear? Shall we proceed? It's interesting to solve these questions, right? So are you ready to gear up with a new set of questions? Okay. So here is your next question. The next question is. Study the table below, and answer the following. Okay. Okay, so now I have got a given set of questions here, given set of numbers here. You need to identify the answers according to the questions that is being asked to you. Okay, so quickly 
copy down these numbers that is given in this grid box so that it's easy for us to find out the answers of these asked questions okay In the last column, I have few more numbers for me. Okay, so now the first question for you is How many even numbers? Are there in the box and the second question is how many odd numbers are there in the box Okay, so now coming to the first one which talks about the even numbers. So we have learnt earlier that the numbers ending with 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8 are called my even numbers. So let us try to figure out what are the even numbers here. So 16, 22, 8, 14, 20, 2. Then this set you have all odd numbers, right? 24, 6, 12, 18, then 4 and 10. So shall we count the total number of even numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So we have 12 even numbers in the given lot. So now since we have striked out the even numbers, it is easy for us to count the odd numbers, right? So shall we count the odd numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So I have 13 odd numbers in the box and 12 even numbers in the box. Okay? Is it clear children? So are you all ready for the next set of questions? 